I've come to notice it's part of my routine to every once in a while have a day to reset, clean, and organize my space and my mind. In today's video, I'm sharing with you a few of the practices that make my reset routine. For me, movement is the perfect combination of nourishing the body and organizing my mind and spirit by focusing on intentional breathing. I have been doing yoga every day for the past two years, and this has really changed my relationship to movement. Some days I may do a one hour power yoga practice wearing ankle weights. Other days, my focus is on stretching, on doing a super slow flow, wearing cozy clothes. For example, on the days of my moon cycle, slowly stretching for 15 minutes is what does it for me. I love having a practice that changes with me. One that is structured in first and foremost, asking myself, what does my body need today? I love how yoga is a space where I strengthen my body and where I can check in with myself. Am I going from one pose to the other in automatic mode? Or am I actually matching my movement with my breath? Every day fluctuates and my presence varies, but showing up every day gives me more opportunities to come back to alignment. My yoga practice is usually followed by meditation. I am so happy to say I've been meditating for almost three months straight every day. Having a moment of silence is key for me, especially when I am surrounded by others. How much space I'm making for myself to breathe, to be, instead of consume and get more stuff on my mind. I really go by the motto, create before you consume. And I love starting my days with my phone still off, creating space for alignment to later show up and consume. Meditation for me is the space where I can pull out my thoughts, just as if I had Dumbledore's pensive. If you've been around this channel for a little while, you know how much I love my morning cup of cacao. Every morning, I chop up my cacao paste. I know I could do this in one afternoon and then just have it ready for the whole week. 
but I love chopping my cacao every day with intention more than I love being efficient. I always chop singing a song and smudging a local herb. This moment is very special for me as it is one of the first moments in the day where I focus on gratitude and presence. I sit with my cup and give gratitude out loud. With the years, I've made my own daily prayer, an offering of giving gratitude out loud to what is most important to me, nature, my ancestors, the indigenous communities who teach us so openly, my allies, and more. If giving gratitude is something you're interested in, I invite you to research the Haudenosaunee tribe's Thanksgiving address. I love how extensive their Thanksgiving address is, as it reminds us that when we are reminded daily of all that which we already have and is available to us, then it's less likely we want to consume as much as our society currently does. If my cup is full, I focus more on what I can create with its fullness. If I feel lacking or empty, then I'll search to fill myself up. Another practice which helps me organize my feelings and thoughts is daily journaling. Believe me, most of the days I think I have nothing to write about, so sometimes I just start by writing down what I'm thankful for today, and then this inspires me to just write without thinking. This has been a truly fascinating for me to see how much is happening unconsciously and putting it in words helps me understand myself more, heal and feel inspired. Once my body, mind, and soul are feeling positive, nourished, and inspired, it's time to get to the real deal of organizing my space. It can all start with something as simple as opening the windows and dusting up a bit. My partner and I always say, una casa limpia es una casa feliz. A clean home is a happy home. I truly believe our homes can be perfect mirrors of our minds. And for some reason, living in a space that is organized and clean feels so refreshing to me. It uplifts my mood and it helps me feel more organized inside as well as if somehow organizing my physical space may help organize my mental and emotional spaces. 
I am not naturally super organized. My childhood bedroom was the most unorganized place ever, but living in chaos isn't healthy for me, so I put a lot of effort in this. And with the years, I've learned how to happily do it because it makes me feel so good. For the past few years, I've also been super intentional about what we use to clean our home. The ingredients, the packaging, and the companies. I think it is beautiful how we can make an impact from everything we buy, all the companies we support in our day-to-day -day lives. When I get to organize my space, I am reminded of how beautiful it is to pay attention to the daily chores. I am quite the overachiever and my creative heart always wants to make so many new projects. And in between creating, managing an art business and being a human, I feel the days go faster than I wish they did. With the years I've come to realize, I want to make time to cook, clean, fold clothes, and smell the flowers as well. So noticing how important it is to enjoy the process of making all the home things has been a real game changer to me. Years ago, I used to fight with all of this as I saw daily chores as taking time away from my business. But I am not a robot. I want to enjoy the small things. And this has me so in love with living a simple life. If in a day I got to feed myself with nourishing meals, I advanced one of my paintings, I organized a bit of admin stuff of my business, and I went outside, then my day feels complete. I would rather have my business grow slower, but my heart feeling happier on the journey. This journey is so important to be enjoyed here today. None of us really knows how long we have 
in order to enjoy this journey. My relationship with cooking for myself is expanding. I'm never afraid to eat and gain weight, but I'm still learning how to cook nourishing and consistently for myself. Nourishment looks different for everyone, and it looks different for each one of us in different cycles. I am currently changing my diet in order to really listen to what my body is needing right now. Things like organizing my fridge, going to the farmer's market, cooking and making time to be present and eat with intention are what help me feel nourished, strong and balanced. Thank you.
And lastly, my plant children, the plants who always teach me so much. Surrendering to their rhythms and to their needs is such a meditative practice. Pulling out the yellow leaves, cleaning out the dusty ones, noticing a new leaf unfolding. It is so beautiful to see these beautiful beings and it is an honor to be of service to their growth. I didn't have a green thumb with my first few plants, but by slowing down and noticing what they need, that is where the magic started happening. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was so beautiful for me to film this in order to share with you a few of the practices that fill up my cup. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here. I wish you a beautiful rest of your day.